I'm investigating a spate of deaths in the UK. The bodies are piling up. And the cause is a mystery. Oh my God. When I imagine a whale, I imagine it alive out there in the ocean. Not stranded here, dead on a beach outside of Edinburgh. And this, this is happening more and more. And when it does, it starts a really surprising chain of events. There are around 100 whale strandings reported in the UK every year. A figure that's more than doubled in the last decade. It's a pattern that's also been seen on a global scale. In the UK, each time one happens, a specialist forensic team is dispatched to carry out a detailed animal autopsy, known as a necropsy. I've been given privileged access to this remarkable process. In the next 24 hours, this animal will be cut open and that post-mortem will reveal clues that may tell us what or who killed it. As an evolutionary biologist, I travel the world exploring extinct human species. Now I'm wondering if whales are next on the list. I've teamed up with some of the world's top marine scientists to find out why these creatures have been dying in such record numbers. This here is a real life detective story. Whoa! And if we get to the bottom of it, we may reverse the fate of these beautiful creatures. Whales have been on Earth for 50 million years. That's over 160 times longer than us. There are around 40 species. They're the biggest, the longest living, furthest traveling mammals on Earth. Essential to the health of our planet's oceans. 